Judge Lauren Lake goes psycho on paternity court. Don't distract her from hearing the testimony that Miss James is gonna tell about what you were talking about to her right. when she was already pregnant right. and the way you was lying back and forth so right. that you could keep having sex with two women. Girl, go pop the popcorn. <laughs> please, please, please. Yeah, I wanna know. No, 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 no. Let's get this straight. I address what I want to address in the order I want to address. Check it out, paternity fam. We got Mr. Hammond sweating bullets in court, claiming he's not the daddy of Miss James's four-year-old, Niziah. With child support papers flying around like confetti, our plaintiff wants a DNA test before he starts coughing up the cash. Drama level? 100. The paperwork, it lists me as the father. Dear Christopher Hammond, Regine James has asked us to open or reopen a child support case for the child listed above. Right. Okay. And so, when you got that paperwork, what were you thinking? I'm like, man, I need a DNA test. Straight up. So, Mr. Hammond spills the tea about his rocky relationship with Miss James. He was doing the cha-cha with another lady named Kiara. Wait, what? Turns out the potential daddy was playing on both sides. <laughs> but Miss James claims she knew what was up. He actually but said that um, he's keeping her under. Um, he didn't want her to know because he was just getting money from that's he, what I he told her. He said that's how he got his truck. That's what his I Tahoe told her got. because, like I said, I was back and forth. This is my girl. Just like you got your baby daddy. He's a liar, though. That's he, it. She got a dude. He lied about And everything. I had a woman. So he, we just he lied about keep everything. Just he said, like that. What? This grown man was getting paid for doing nothing by Miss Kiara, who apparently was kept in the dark. I mean, how was she sitting so calm? Well, your smirk might have allowed your man to roam around sniffing others' caves, but just listen to this twist. He got pregnant in March. Who did? She has a uh, baby by him already. I got pregnant in August, she got pregnant in March. You were both pregnant at the same time. While this young woman was pregnant with your child, right, and I you were still it. having sex with Miss James. Yeah, of course. That's what I said. <laughs> well, we all know that because they're, you know, kind of close. Mr. Hammond, either you're rocking a serious attitude issue or you're just not catching the drift. Picture this. This woman is bankrolling your lifestyle. And what do you do? You're out there cheating on her, and she's just keeping hush. Plus, you've got a mistress in the loop, aware of all your other entanglements, and she's zipping her lips, too. She called me and told me that she was pregnant, right? I found out from someone else, and then we met and talked about it. She don't want me in her baby's life because I wasn't the she That's a lie. Me. Actually, we met, um, I was at work, and um, um, sat down, and he was telling me how he's so sorry that he did it or whatever. He shouldn't have got her pregnant. This is the truth. Well, we just can't judge you on that note, right? So how about we just call Miss Kiera in the spotlight for her paternity performance? Hmm? It looks where everything is headed. Things might heat up for the worse. No. So no, but you're sleeping it? with this older man that has other kids that don't want to even take care of your baby and you're upset and you want to blame know? it on him. See, I'm she's delusional. How do nope. you know all this? <laughs> doing all this other stuff with the many, many Jerome, people. go pop the popcorn. <laughs> please, please, please. Yeah, I want to know. What a wreck. Now, this was something that was enough to make anyone go erratic. And since both Miss Kiera and Miss James was aware of the mess they created, they probably had Judge Lake swinging between sane and psycho. When I texted her on some woman level and I asked her, is that Chris's baby? She said, no, that's not his baby. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. You guys could have a happy life and I have nothing else to say to you I guys. I did tell her that. She I did, did tell say her that, that and we walked is, each other. Why is it any of her business, period? He don't have nothing to do. <laughs> it is my business. Okay, let's get some order. I'm done with yeah. this. Oh boy. Now popping popcorn for this one's like literally an official. So, how about now we just focus on the DNA results before we finish them? Or Judge Lake completely cracks up herself. I mean, we got more cases to solve, right? Mr. Hammond, you are not the father. Okay. That's fine. We always talk about in this courtroom, we get one level of truth and then we seek a next level of truth. I said it before I opened the envelope and I know it to be true. This isn't over between the two of you. It's over with, but I don't know. For... Listen, it could be. Mr. Miller claims his girlfriend, Miss Troutman, ditched him for another dude. Classic. Then she comes back, and they quickly resume their intimate relations. Fast forward a bit, she announces she's pregnant, and Mr. Miller suspects he might not be the daddy. 
Drama alert. I wouldn't have been sleeping around with other men if he was doing his responsibility as a father and taking care of his girls and me also. He wasn't buying diapers, wives, clothes. His mother was the man of our relationship. She took care of him. She put a roof over our head. She took all of us. Miss Troutman confesses to leaving Mr. Miller for another man. Yep, she had a two-week fling. Why? She argues Mr. Miller wasn't stepping up as a daddy and his mom was meddling in their business. So, Troutman also confesses she had enough of the family drama. But just hear what Judge Lake has to say on this. You I ran left. out the house, and slipped on a banana peel, and no. landed in the bed with somebody no, else. I, I'm trying no. to figure out how this That's not what happens. No. leads no. up to you sleeping no. with yet another man besides the plasma center guy. Come on, let, let well, tell Well, I the moved in now. with my auntie, and you know, she got to telling me how, to, how he's not right for me, how I need to do better for me and my kids. Now, how did these two lovebirds meet? Troutman was a runaway, met Miller's mom, got taken in, and bam, love at first sight with Miller. They had one kid together, and then, surprise, number two was on the way. But wait, there's more. They threw in an unplanned threesome. Yeah, you heard it right. Things are heating up. And I, I think it, I might be the blame for her wanting to cheat on me because of that, because we had a threesome. I mean, it, I, I told her she was, she wanted to do it. It was times that I woke up in the morning and seen him doing something to her. There's also been times when I went through his phone and he's got pictures of her in her, her no. underwear. Mr. Miller goes out of town for a week, comes back, and catches Miss Troutman with another dude at the plasma center. He's holding their firstborn. Drama level 100. She claimed they were on a break, but he wasn't buying it. We were no longer together when I was dating the person that I met at the Plasma Center. So when he did come back on his trip, me and my friend with my daughter was leaving the Plasma Center and he was walking down the street. Tony approaches me and he's all happy, he's lovey-dovey, he's like, what's going on? I'm like, nothing, me and my friends finna walk to my mom's house for my daughter's birthday. Anyways, Ms. Troutman talked about her post-breakup escapades. There's a chat line involved, a new guy from the Plasma Center, and even more men in the mix. It's a rainbow-colored mess, and everyone's on the chat line playing detective. What a roller coaster. I was with that guy that I was with. Plasma but, Center guy. Yes, but we were separated. We were not together. Was that the only man you were with during no, that, that time? No, that is not the only guy that I was with. Okay. Me and Tony relationship has not been A1. There is it's been so rough and I I I I just got tired of it. Miller's mom buys diapers and has opinions. Grandma Miller steps up, saying she saw a guy during Miss Troutman's two-week adventure, and Daja looks just like him. What a confession! Feels like Granny has been running around the town with binoculars. I seen the guy, I went and picked Tony and I went and picked her up. That, they both that's, saw the guy. That she uh, was gone two weeks with. Bottom line is, you got a glimpse. I know what he looks like, and I seen I seen Deja, and I can't help but think. I hope not, but it looks she looks just like the other Which guy. Which guy? The plasma guy. The, or plasma, the chat line guy. plasma guy. Oh man, this broken couple was left at the mercy of the DNA test results. We might give everyone ten out of ten for honesty. But the only truth we have been waiting for throughout the session was concealed in an envelope. You are the father. Now turn up to that. Turn up now. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's all okay. I want to know. That's all I want to know why you all mad. Like, come on. Mr. Johnson was all worked up, claiming Miss Owens made him believe he was the daddy of her kid. They even had a heart to heart when the baby started looking like another dude. Mr. Tyson, who is conveniently no longer among the living. Yeah, that's right, he's dead. She was telling me, you know, one minute that, oh yeah, you're the father. Then the next minute she's telling me, a couple years down the line, that I'm not the father, you know? I'm kind of confused here. I don't, you you're know, I don't know what to think. Did you tell him at any point that he was the father and then change it and say he wasn't? Um, uh, at the, go ahead. Let me finish. Go ahead. Yes, I did um, believe that he was the father. Now, isn't that one healthy start, eh? Mr. Johnson's all confused, feeling misled by Miss Owens. Feels like she was playing the I thought you were the daddy card. Hmm. Now that's what you truly call a change of heart. Let's just see what happens next. You also submitted a picture of Dakari with the other potential father, Mr. Tyson. And it was at <laughs> this point you determined maybe Mr. Tyson could be the father. Mm-hmm, that's right, Jonna. Let's not forget the relationship drama here. They were living together, and Mr. Johnson was supporting Miss Owens, even paying for her doctor visits. 
But wait, Miss Owens throws shade about him not attending a single doctor visit. Hmm. You are even lucky if he's here in the courtroom today. <laughs> you are now taking part in this process. You're yes. there for the birth? Yes. You signed he the birth certificate? Yes, I did. He ain't do nothing else. I with was living there living with her. With when I went, Once I came there Liv with her, I was paying for everything. Ooh. I was paying to go back and forth to the doctor visits. He did not. He ain't never been to one of my doctor visits with me, never in life. And today, when I was... Mr. Tyson's mom, Miss Tyson, was also present inside the courtroom. She wanted closure. She wanted a grandchild. She wanted something to remember her son by. It was like a family reunion, but with paternity drama is the main course. But the baby mama has been on a nerve streak. Why she was laying on her fat ass? That's what I'm talking about. Now you have to watch your language. I'm just saying, that's okay, Your Honor, because it is fat. You know, that's okay. Look at her, man. She sleep around with everybody, you know? Everybody got to sleep. What did you just say, Miss Owens? Ah, well, Judge Lake was not having any of this nonsense. She lays down the law, literally. She's like, stop the clowning, this is real life. But somebody might have turned the psycho here. All of this, little one, have a seat. You're not making anybody oh, look bad except yourself. You up here talking no, to me? No, I'm addressing him next. Oh, well, you should So the first. point is, oh, no. No, 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 let's get this straight. I address what I want to address in the order I want to address it. Well, now, y'all, who runs the courtroom here, right? So let's just fast forward to the paternity results. I mean, like, my ears are now literally exhausted from their constant yelling at each other. So here are the DNA results. Dakari Johnson. Based on the testing results, the probability of relatedness is 99.99%. <laughs> the court adjourned, folks. Grandma Tyson gets to meet her grandson, and Mr. Johnson gets a stern talk from Judge Lake. She's like, don't bail on the kid, he's counting on you. But isn't that something only time will tell? I'm just happy for the kid that he gets to know his dad's family. I can appreciate the honesty behind it. Ms. Williams, would you like to meet your grandson, Dakari, yes. in my chamber? <laughs> yes. I also need to speak to Mr. Johnson. Sir, this is not the answer you wanted. I know. If you disappear, that will be two losses. You understand? Yes, I do. Discovering that your wife has been unfaithful is a distressing experience. But for Mr. Green, the situation takes a more complex turn as he learns that her infidelity extends beyond conventional boundaries, encompassing both men and women. Oh boy, wait for what? I mean, she used to leave me in the house numerous amounts of time. Like, she'd tell me she'd go into the store for like an hour. She'd be gone for like two or three hours and get back. I asked her where she'd been. Like, she'd just been to her girlfriend's house. To her girlfriend's house can mean really her boyfriend's house or both. Like, who knows, you know what I mean? What if the store was just crowded? I don't think Burger King at 10 o'clock at night is crowded until like <laughs> one in the morning. Miss Green has been quite the colorful character juggling the roles of a baby mama in a queer queen. But wait, the drama doesn't stop there. Mr. Green, it turns out, has also been dancing with fire, engaging in relationships with other women. Like, I flew back from Atlanta. Like, we said we was gonna get it together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I flew back from Atlanta. Came with, in the house, went chilling. With another woman. Tell uh, the whole story. We was broken up. You already had another child by somebody else. Okay. What you mean? Yes, ma'am, I did. And he would have also had another child during that. She another said, that child. Was allegedly, that, that wasn't is mine. Another that child. What that kind is of marriage is this? <laughs> a circus. All right, paternity gang, here's the breakdown. They were supposedly in a marriage, but their actions resembled more of a high school couple than a committed partnership. These allegations have truly been getting on my nerves. And just when you thought you heard it all, brace yourself for another jaw-dropping confession. How long were you out of town for? Where were you at when you were out of town? I was in Atlanta. Right, in Atlanta, right. Yeah, I was in Atlanta. With who? With my son moms, but we wasn't together. So what are you talking about then? But still, what did you, I found the kind of rap on the floor, you smutty. Were you in Atlanta with your son's mother? I had it out there and I was, he you know, was in, going in Atlanta, going Atlanta living with his son's mother. You're right, let's refocus on the main theme, the paternity in question. As we set aside the intricate web of the marriage saga for the moment, let's delve into the big pregnancy revelation. Given the apparent chaos in the marriage, one can only imagine how tumultuous and messy this pregnancy news might turn out to be. You admit that you had been sleeping with other men and women and having your own 
having fun while he's gone. Yes, Because you all are apart. He comes back and then you're pregnant. You tell him you're pregnant. He was back for like a month before I found out I was pregnant. I had n not been with anyone during the time that this child was beside him. Oh, really? Him. Somebody wasn't calling your phone? So. Oh, boy, kept wasn't keep calling your phone? Do you phone? get pregnant through the phone? Here comes the juicy revelation we've all been eagerly anticipating. Picture this. Right around the time when the baby was on the way, Mr. Green found himself caught up in a whirlwind of gossip surrounding the baby mama. Scandalous, right? She'd be on the barbershops all the time, messing with this one, messing with that one. This is all around the same time. We was partying, yeah, we was partying, having a good time. Together. Or whatever, together. Yeah, we was partying, right. having a good time together. But at the end of the day, I was about you, and that was that. Was that. You was about everything else. I didn't okay. want none of that. You okay. know what I'm saying? That was something you that you wanted. That's, That's why something you brought the milkshake to the yard. Right. I did not. Okay. You did. All right, cool. Mr. Green accusations ran the gamut from intimate encounters to connection with a myriad of individuals of both genders. Well, we can't say anything about the preferences. Now, since we're all just a bit fed up with the drama, how about we fast track to those eagerly awaited results? Mr. Green, you are the father. Now turn up to that. Turn up now. That's all okay. I want to know. That's all I want to know why you all mad. Like, come on. Now, both of them have been on ranting chant session. You know, Judge Lake has a tough job? No something she just keeps real without giving in to the exhaustion, and something she pitches in a lesson is kind of psycho style. I see a lot of nonsense in this courtroom, things that I feel like I really can't believe, but you all have taken the cake today. Actually be producing children when you can't even get your own lives together. It is the order of this court whether or not you're gonna be married or you're not. We ain't. We're not. We ain't. Attention paternity detectives, get acquainted with this mom hustling hard not for the paycheck but for a secret fling on the side hold on to your hats because mr brewer aka her hubby stumbles upon her covert activities now the paternity of their 20 month old daughter is hanging by a thread she worked at a department store somebody that worked there at the department store showed me a video of her having sex with some guys. Why, really? why, why are they supposed to be on break? On break? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, that is a lie. Like I told him, show me the proof, because I want to see for myself. He wouldn't show me. So I have no idea what he's talking about. And I asked myself, which female told you that? So I can tell her to show me. This saga kicks off with a real head scratcher. I mean, seriously, Miss Allen pulling such a dirty trick and putting your whole relationship on the line? What gives? We're all ears for an explanation to unravel the mystery behind your questionable move. Spill the beans on this baffling bout of foolishness. I didn't see him do it a multiple times. When I was pregnant with my daughter, it was the ex he was talking to. He told her he wanted to have sex with her. So now, we're, now we're getting to what's really going on. So you playing a game but tit for tat, but you keep losing. You know I say it every time, we don't win that game. We never win that game. If you get to the point where there's too many girls in his phone, then you just gotta be done. And now the cherry on top that has pushed Mr. Brewer. Off the cliff were some interesting facts that he had probably created in his mind. Now, who he said next probably had the judge go psycho and say this. <laughs> and you missed the birth. Yes, ma'am, but the thing was, like, I didn't know that she was, cause she didn't call me and let me know that, like, it was really happy. Oh, is she supposed to get on the phone? I mean, I would think so, you know. We don't have no time to make no phone calls. Yes, right, Your yes, Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Right. That's not what we're doing when that happens. Yes, ma'am. A plus for the stand-up comedy session, Judge Lake, bracing yourself for Mr. Brewer as he laid down some unfiltered truths. It's a wild roller coaster into the season of infidelity. Come on, lady, give me a break. You're in a marriage for crying out loud. One, one day her phone went off. And I was like, what's going on, you know? So I ended up looking at the phone. And when I looked at the phone, it was one of her friends' names. But when I started reading, it wasn't no friend. Oh. It was another man, so. And what did the text message say? One of the text messages that I read was like, you know, I don't, I don't want to wear a condom. Oh. Really? All right, buckle up for the classic text exchanges. Miss Allen, it seems like your brain took an extended vacation during those moments. And now you're shedding tears of regret 
No matter how bad we feel for you, what's done is done, right? One day we had we had got to arguing, and she told me that I wasn't a dad. Oh, she did? Yes, ma'am. Take me back to that argument. What did she say? She, she was just like, that's why you ain't age around a daddy. You are. Sounds like you said that, Miss Allen. As he always say when we get arguing, he get mad and leave. Oh, I ain't raising them little kids. Them kids ain't mine. You take care of them yourself, okay? So I told him, yeah, you're right, they ain't the child. Well, we can just only hope that everything turns out to be in Miss Allen's favor. But how about we deliver you a quick guide on keeping a man? That might help you not put yourself in the paternity mess ever again. How about you pull out a paper and a pencil for quick notes? As he always say when we get arguing, he get mad and leave. Oh, I ain't raising them little kids. Them kids ain't mine. You take care of them yourself. Okay. So I told him, yeah, you're right. They ain't the child. I, I did tell him that. So you know you can't unring that bell. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. I understand. It was a wrap. Already have doubts, and then in the argument that comes out, he's done now. Can't take that back. Now, the entire time the marriage in this courtroom has been in the dark. Now the only clue that will bring their relationship back to light was the DNA test result. So without wasting more time, let's just go to that part. You are the father. That's my baby. I got two babies. <laughs> See, there we go. There they go. That's a family right there. 